Hi everyone, Pastor Steve here. Happy Australia Day to everyone. Today is the 26th of January, 2024, and uh, you may or may not be celebrating Australia Day as it's become quite a controversial issue here in Australia, in especially in recent years, where basically um, many of us who want to celebrate the day are told that it's not appropriate because of the day that it's associated with and the um, the effect that people coming from Britain had to Australia's had uh, on Indigenous Australians and uh, some of the events of history where Aboriginal people have been mistreated, which no doubt has happened in the past. I believe, though, that Australia Day is a day that all people can celebrate for many various reasons. And, um, and there are many Australia, um, Audi Australian Indigen Indigenous people who actually feel the same way. They celebrate the day as a day of remembering God and the blessings that he's put on this nation and all the wonderful things we have as Australians. <clears throat> People like um, Warren Mundine and uh, Jacinta Price, just to name a few or a couple. Um, so I'm going to just give a couple of reasons why I, I believe that it's a great day to remember what God has done for Australia. For starters, not long after the British came here, within the first week, there was the first church service by, the man, by a man named Richard Johnson, and uh, he preached on the February the 3rd, 1788. And that was the first time the gospel or the Christian message was preached on Australia. Now, for all the different things that have gone on since that time, one thing's for sure, the Bible and the Christian foundations and the message of Jesus coming to this land was a great blessing to all people that have been here ever since. And if you want to doubt that, then um, just think we could have been populated or colonised by uh, people with, from the Islamic faith and we would have been under Sharia law, which we wouldn't have had the freedoms that we currently enjoy today. You know, we enjoy freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of conscience here, at least we, we do in, in technically in law, um, though there are people moving to replace that now. In our constitution, we have words like humbly relying on the blessing of almighty God um, in our parliaments, in both at state level, New South Wales and federal state, they still start with the Christian prayer. Talking, you know, uh, one in federal parliament, they actually say the Lord's Prayer. In New South Wales, they they basically they calling on God to vouchsafe or to guide their their um, deliberations and their decisions. <laughs> Though, unfortunately, they don't always. Uh, honour the God of heaven by some of those decisions they make, as we well know. But either way, um, Australia, as we know it today, its foundations are built upon the Christian faith and the Bible. Uh, the Ten Commandments uh, are part of our law, go right back to the Magna Carta in Britain and the common law of England, where we copied a lot of that. And um, when we became a federation in 1901, um, the people that were... Uh, making the constitution for Australia and starting the federation, they were all men that believed in the God of the Bible and followed him to various degrees. But they, they had, that many of them prayed about the direction that Australia would go at that time. Um, and we've seen that, that the Bible was a part of the education system. Most schools were started by people that belonged to the Church of England and later the Catholic religion so there was some element of christian faith and christian morals was part of the education system the bible was still uh accepted in the schools in those days uh, hard to believe isn't it that um that we've come so far and removed god so much from our public school uh this at this time but even now scripture is still in our public schools and chaplains are still part of the the scene in our school systems um our form of government, as I said, is based on Christian values and principles and a Christian way of governing. Um, our laws are based on the Ten Commandments and biblical uh, commandments there. And we've, you know, we've seen in recent times slowly 
that has been changed or eradicated. Um, nonetheless, uh, we have many things to be thankful for on this day. Now, all controversy aside, whether you celebrate these things on the 26th of January on Australia Day, like uh, most people will in, in Australia, um, we have much to be thankful for. I mean, we've been through a lot in the last few years where some of those things were undermined, some of our freedoms through COVID uh, ideology and uh, responses to COVID by our governments with lockdowns and um, censorship uh, and stuff like that. And there are currently in place throughout the world and even in here in Australia, the governments are trying to push through laws about misinformation, disinformation, which means basically they want to take away freedom of speech as we've always known it, if it conflicts with what the government is pushing, the narrative, which sounds a lot like socialism and communism to me. And that's what we saw, I believe, through the COVID seasons anyway, where we were we had our freedoms basically curtailed at least for a while. But we're free at this present time to come into our churches and we're free to say what we believe. And, there was, you know, we, we never have gone completely away from that. Um uh, I'm very thankful that I live in Australia. We have rich resources here, uh, a good standard of living, and, you know, much to be thankful for. And, of course, being thankful to the fact that our our nation is, for all its faults, built on Christian um, ideas. I mean, the charities that we see, they all began from Christian um, backgrounds, most of them. Um, the, the fact that we, you know, doing doing unto others as you would do unto them. That's part of the Christian ethic and, you know, mateship and all this type of stuff. They're all borrowed from the Christian faith. And many of our words that we use, you know, a baptism of fire and um, you're in the, the, the going through in the lion's den, you know, um, uh, many phrases that we use, you know, the writings on the wall all come from the Bible. People don't realise this. Um, so this day, you know, uh, I believe it's, it's a good day, as, as it's good a day as ever to celebrate all these blessings that God has given us and be thankful and be grateful. The, what, what is happening with the other side of it, it's a gripe all the time that there's, there's, there's never an end day to say, okay, well, we've dealt with this now and we can now forgive and move on and, and be reconciled. Uh, the people that are really most angry about Australia Day, um, they're people that are usually very angry and very unforgiving and very bitter towards what's happened in the past to their to their ancestors or to them even that might have experienced uh, racism, you know. And let's not pretend it doesn't exist, but the fact is that Australia has done a lot to deal with that now. And Indigenous people and Aboriginal people have as much rights as any other person in Australia now. And uh, they're not discriminated against by and large, at least by the authorities and the government and, um, you know, the different uh, things in society today. Uh, they have as, as much rights and uh, as anyone else. And same as many other countries like Britain and America have dealt with a lot of the racism from the past. In fact, America fought a war to get rid of slavery. And in Britain, a man by the name of William Wilberforce, he fought to get rid of slavery in Britain. Um, the, and, and they all did that because of their Christian roots, their Christian beliefs, and their churches were at the forefront of it, or many Christians in those churches were. And there are many Christians today who have done a lot of great things in Australia to make uh, Australia a better country. We look at our foundations. Many of them were Christians who believed in trying to do the right thing. doesn't mean they were people without fault, just like we read in the Bible. Abraham and David and people like that, they were great men of God, but they also had flaws in them. But it didn't mean that God didn't use them. So today, if you're waking up in Australia, I believe you should give thanks to God for all the wonderful things that you you have. And uh, instead of looking at all the negatives of, of what is from the past even, um, now's the time to reconcile with God and reconcile with your fellow man and make peace with God. And just in closing, this is a, um, a website that I found about Australia's Christian history. So I'm just going to scroll down and give you a bit of a look at it. You can go to this and read some documents, watch some videos, and you'll find a lot of information about why we are a Christian nation and the links to the Bible and uh, 
our heritage. And what's happened in our generation since the time I was born in the 1960s is that we have been like Esau. We have gradually sold our inheritance and our our uh, our, her- our Christian faith and heritage, just like Esau did. He didn't regard the blessing and his inheritance uh, with any great respect or didn't regard it as being that important, and he sold it for a meal. And many people in Australia have sold their Christian heritage because they don't consider it to be important. Um, if You know, like I was like that as a child, I, uh, a teenager, I grew up without any knowledge of my Christian heritage um, until I turned 22 and became a, a real Christian. Um, so I encourage you to find a church, open up your Bible, and go and have a look at this website and uh, reconnect with your God and reclaim your heritage um, because all the problems we see in our land today is because we've disengaged from the God of the Bible. We've forgotten our foundations. We've forgotten his commandments and all the the issues that we see can pretty much be directly traced back to all that in our nation today. Most of the problems we see, or in fact, all of them are spiritual in nature, and there's only one remedy for that, and that is Jesus Christ. Anyway, have a great Australia Day. God bless, and uh, take care, and we'll send out another video another day. God bless.